It's a new day here at Mayungu village in Kilifi County. A new moment for the local fishermen to set sail in their quest for a daily bread that lies in fishing. One of them is Ali Said Combo. Like the rest of the fishermen, Combo is hoping against hope for a better catch today. Apart from this, he also prays that he makes it back to his family safely. For him, lacking documents that identifies him and his nationality is a risk that he has learned to live with. He does it by blending in with Pemba fishermen from Tanzania or risk being arrested by Kenyan authorities for being in the country illegally. Pemba has a birth certificate. Pemba has an ID. Hata yule bibi ya mewa, haja mua halali. Kwa sababu, hana uraia. Kulingana nene hatuna vitambulisho na hatuna leseni hatuwezi kukata leseni kwa sababu ya kuwa hatuna vitambulisho e, lakini usumbufu ni mkubwa sana sana maana usumbufu tukuzungumza zaidi basi wengine wote watakupiga kile watu wakalia na kulingana kwanza na majirani sisi majirani yetu kuna wengine wazuri na kuna wengine wabaya sasa hawa kwanza ukijulikana kama mimi ni mpemba basi lo Napata dhiki sana sana mimi yani siko na raha mimi wewe jambo dogo utakuja utakwambia wewe nini wewe wewe mpemba tu kama taka taka wewe sasa pale naathirika the situation represents the plight of thousands of pemba people living in the Kenyan coast who are stateless they are neither Tanzanians nor Kenyans <laughs> This tiny and dusty Mayungu village lies south of Malindi in Kilifi County. Apart from its rich fishing culture, it is also known for having the largest population of the Pemba people in Kenya. Over 2,000 of them live here. Today, the 50-year-old Kombo and his Tanzanian colleagues will be out in the sea for six hours. As the boats take to the sea, each fisherman is armed with the tools of trade and an open mind. After all, fishing turns strangers into friends in their dreams for better catch. Combo's friends have passports and fishing licenses that allow them to fish in Kenyan waters. That's accompanying them keeps him out of trouble with the Kenyan Coast Guard, Kenya Wildlife Services and Maritime Police who patrol the Kenyan waters. The rise of terrorism has made it difficult for any stranger to be found on the wrong side of the Kenyan law. <laughs> But the pursuit for survival does come at a great financial cost from the combo. He has to cater for days cost of expedition by purchasing 40 liters of petrol and the cost of hiring the boats that he and his colleagues will use today. The Pemba people derive their name from the Pemba Islands in Tanzania. Although they are locally known as Pemba due to their origin, the island itself boasts of a mix of people from different different backgrounds who make the island a unique colorful fabric of cultures. They include the Hadimu and the Tumbatu who are native Bantu tribes. They are also descendants of Persians, Arabs and Comoran settlers who prefer to be referred to as Shirazi. The most prominent member of Shirazi is the later Bed Karume who led the nationalist Afro Shirazi party that was behind the 1964 revolution which deposed the Sultan of Zanzibar. <laughs> Pemba is one of the many regions in East Africa that has contributed immensely to the growth of the Swahili language, which is Africa's most spoken indigenous language behind Arabic. <laughs> The dialect spoken in Pemba is called Kipemba. The Pemba people in Kenya say the ancestors arrived in Kenya before the First World War. However, little has been documented in their mission, although communities in the region interacted way before the colonial boundaries were formed. 
According to a 2016 report by United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, there are over 18,000 stateless people in Kenya. Most of these trace their ancestries to Tanzania, Somalia, Mozambique, Democratic Republic of Congo, India, Rwanda, and Burundi. They include the Somali, Indians, Congolese, Burundians, Rwandese, Galjael, Makonde, Shona, and the Pemba. While the state has since granted citizenship to the Makonde and the Shona, the Pemba are among others who are waiting for fate to smile their way. <laughs> recent announcement by President William Ruto rekindled their hopes. The Pemba community living in Kilifi County that has for a long time suffered without identity, the government of Kenya is now going to work on the modalities to ensure that the Pemba community acquire citizenship of the Republic of Kenya. Bye-bye. Kenya. <laughs> Na kama Kenya itaenda mbele na wapemba watata nyuma, Kenya haizi songa mbele bila wapemba. Manake wanaishi hapa Kenya. Kukiwa na umaskini hapa Kenya, watu maskini wa kwanza ni hao wapemba. Na umaskini wao inakuja kwa sababu watu wafanya bidi. Wanafanya bidi lakini kwa sababu hawana uraia, hawezi endelea. They include Mze Kombo who together with his Pemba colleagues have reached the first fish cage that they had laid the previous day. Their catch is not what they expected for. Only a single fish for more than a dozen men on fueled boats. They head to the next cage. <laughs> back in the village, families wait for what their breadwinners will bring back from the sea. Being stateless is a monotonous life that Pemba people, like any other stateless persons, cannot access some of the key amenities, including secondary and tertiary education, bank loans to grow their businesses, and live alone traveling freely. Tuliumia sana hata mimi ni mmoja wapo maana kusema kweli hapa mke wangu alikuja akachukuliwa hapa wakaregeshwa Tanzania na mimi nikawafuatilia moja kwa moja mpaka kule Tanzania eh pale sijui nilikuwa wao wakiachiliwa wataenda wapi mimi nikawafuatilia moja kwa moja kwa sababu mimi nishaenda nikafuatilia moja kwa moja kule wamewekwa nikachukua mimi nikaregesha huko na Tanzania wako na uraia kule hawana uraia wala hawajulikani there is a situation tied on the principles that allow one to be granted citizenship in any nation. Here in Kenya, the principle of Jus Soli and Jus Saguinis often play a leading role on whether descendants of foreigners get citizenship or not. Jus Soli is the right to nationality that allows a person to claim citizenship of a territory that he or she is born in. Jus Soli, uh ni ni, 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 ni jina la kilatin ambalo linamaanisha sheria ya mchanga ama soli inamaanisha mchanga kwa hivyo ikija katika mambo ya uraia inamaanisha ni raia anapata uraia kwa ile nchi ambayo amezaliwa mfano kama marekani ukizaliwa marekani leo wewe ni raia wa marekani haijalishi wazazi wako ni wa nchi gani Una, unapata uraia wa Marekani kwa sababu wao wanatumia ile sheria ya juu soli mali umezaliwa unapata uraia wa hapo So what about you Saguinis unapata uraia kama wazazi wako ni raia wa Kenya Kwa hivyo unaweza zaliwa hapa Kenya lakini kama raia kama wazazi wako ambao wamekuzaa sio raia wa Kenya wewe sio raia wa Kenya Kwa mfano wapemba ambao em, wamezaliwa hapa Kenya na wazazi wao sheria ya Kenya haiwatambui kuwa wa Kenya. Kwa hivyo hata kama wamezaliwa hapa Kenya hawawezi kuwa wa Kenya. Kwa sababu sheria haiwatambui mababa zao na mababu zao. Hata kama wameishi hapa Kenya hizo miaka zote. Kenya employs the second principle as one of the means to which one can claim citizenship. This is the reason why in some communities that lie on the borders with neighboring nations, those applying for identity cards are compelled to submit identity documents of their parents and grandparents to ascertain their eligibility. And this is where the Pemba find themselves stuck. They are born in Kenya, 
but cannot outrightly apply to be citizens of this nation, it does not matter whether one of the parents is a Kenyan or not. Iyo sheria ya vetting haiko haiko pale katika sheria. Lakini um, kuna ile kwa kimombo tunaita um, uh, practice. Yani sheria inasema ja, jambo moja lakini amba, kitu ambacho kinafanyika uh, um, in practice ni tofauti. Na hiyo ndio ambayo serikali imeiweka hiyo kwa watu ambao wanaishi mpakani ili kuzuia watu ambao sio raia wa Kenya kutoka nchi zingine kuja kuingia ndani ya nchi na kupata stakabadhi za nchi. Back in the sea, Combo and Company are on the second cage. A couple of red snappers is all they have, not as bad as the first catch, but still not so good. It is time to herad back home. Mze Combo reflects on his journey in life. My name is Aliwa wa Kenya. Wilaya ya Lunga Lunga. Tarafa ni Shimoni. Pongwa kidimu. Nimehama kidimu, nimehama Shimoni ili kutafuta maisha. Kulingana sisi wa Pemba, sisi kwanza hatuna ka kazi ya kuajiriwa na serikali. He and his fellow Pemba people have to literally fish for survival. Tumetoka sasa hii hata ile shilingi hatunayo kwenda kujisaidia majumbani. Na kulingana sisi hatuna kitega uchumi cha juu ya kwamba sisi tutakuwa fanya kitega uchumi tupate matarajio yetu tunokusudia kimatumizi majumbani na kimatumizi ya kusomesha ya watoto wetu wengine tunashindwa sisi the calm waters of the ocean offer no consolation for these men as they head back on the land not knowing what to feed their families in a nation they live but not belong his restless soul trapped in a peaceful body and posture babu yangu ilikuwa mimi mduruma na huyo babu akaenda kaoa pemba baada kwa daoa pemba akaja nao Shimoni sasa kaisha Shimoni sehemu ndio watu wakichaka mkwaju. Sasa wale wazazi wangu wote yule baba amesalia kichaka mkwaju. Ambao ni Kenya hii. Sasa anatuambia toka mwaka 60 na ngapi 68 sio ulipata uhuru nchi hii. Basi tayari watu wa Pemba wako tayari. Wapiga na Wareno. Umefahamu eh? Wanapiga na Wareno. Eh. Sasa toka miaka hiyo mpaka leo tuseme sisi vizazi vinavyofuatilia bado sisi tu Pemba. According to UNHCR, there are estimated 10 million people who are considered stateless across the world, who are not considered as nationals by any state under the operations of their respective law. These people live in a world that guarantees nothing but infinite life of hopelessness. This is the life that Combo has known since birth. <laughs> As the boat drifts through the mainland, the punishing hot sun beacons a tough day ahead for Combo. Bahari ndo takuja ni uka bahati kapi ngile siku moja. Ndiyo ni ahali yomu nimepata. Ah, nimepata lakio kangalia madeni huku juu. Hasemeki, mpaka mwishu wa kurofisha na mwenye duka. Mwenye duka kutimi za shiki miambili, miatatu, basi taida kwa mbea. Mze leo mefunga, leo hakuna kitu. Eh, kupati kitu. Sasa mta matarijia yungu ni yapi mimi. Na mene teka nishi. Nipate vya damu zangu jirani aliye mwema mwambie anisaidie na mimi mpate stara ya kustiri wale watoto wangu. Well luck is one of the many components of fishing perhaps the biggest of them all is patience patience that lies deep within each fisherman with the family coming in as cheerleaders. Sasa nakuwa changamoto kubwa zinazonipata mimi yani. Sasa unakuta temezi mimi ndio na meka 50 naambwa yule mzee yule mzee yule eh, kwa sababu nini umri umeshaenda na kaangalia kuweka ile rasilimali ya watoto familia sina na kufa tu mimi hivi e, na watoto na wanaendeleza vile vile as the region's counties push to benefit their communities from the blue economy the pemba people risk being left behind kwa sababu kuna rasilimali nyingi zinazongia kama mwaka jana nakumbuka kulikuja hizi seminar hizi za wa 
wavuvi hao wakutrengiwa kuna kazi za kutoka mamelini kazi zile mzee kapita mko vituoni mko kwenye game uisi walipata walichagua wali na wale wenyeji eh yeah. kwa sababu nini wao wenyeji lakini sisi tuambiwa sisi mpaka leo tuabaguliwa tu ni wapemba tu hao hana haja kuambia sisi kubagwana kulikuwa kwa sababu hawana vitambulisho lakini serikali ikiwa itawapa vitambulisho basi tutakuwa kitu kimoja na tutashirikiana kwa umoja changamoto ni kwamba hawana tu vitambulisho according to UNHCR and the national government there are around 7000 members of the Pemba community in the counties of Kwale, Kilifi and Mombasa however the Mayungu village hosts the highest number of them at over 2000 Eh, na wapemba hawa wa ambao wako hapa Mayungu ni wa ambao ndio walioanzisha Mayungu mwaka wa 72 wakaanzisha mambo ya uvuvi Mimi ni mzaliwa wa Kenya Mamangu ni Mkenya babangu ni Mpemba Na mpaka dakika hii bado sijapata kuwa sijakuwa humu uhuru wa Kenya Wazazi wangu mpaka sasa hii hajapata mtambulisho ndio na mimi mpaka sasa hii sija kipata. Sasa hii mimi hapa ngona watoto watatu naambiwa ni watafutie bathi lakini bathi haipatikani mpaka nipate mimi kitambulisho. Sasa unaona jamii zile za Kipemba kama tumeteseka muda mrefu sana kwa sababu hatuna nguvu ya kufanya mbolo lolote kama jamii ya Kipemba. Sasa kipato la yeye sasa hii mfano wake ni kama maendeleo yatakuwa makubwa sana. Washukuru Mungu sana tupata maendeleo makubwa sana. Nitashirikisha hawa watu wa usalama wote watu wa KWS, watu wa Marine, watu wa Coast Guard. Nikae na wao niwaambie kwamba sasa wapemba ni wakenya, raia wa Kenya tunakojea wapate vitambulisho but meanwhile waachiwe wafanye biashara huko kwa bahari manake sasa rais ametangaza. Yes. Kwa hiyo mimi naona maisha yao sasa itakuwa sawa. Many Kenyans do not know the struggles of being a foreigner until they are in foreign land. But being stateless is a whole different but tricky situation. Will the Pemba could be on their way to being granted Kenyan citizenship. It may take time. For now, they wallow in the state of statelessness in a state called Kenya where living on hope. Yes, I hear me ne woman at the hospital kule. Kufika hospital. Sina ile sije yetu ya NHF sije ndio vipi ile. Sio ni katibiwa. Naweza kuda tu kwa kama takataka mimi pale. Huduma stop hata mpaka dakika hii. E lakini kiwa shabata ule uraia na shabata ile na tamaa kwa Mwenyezi Mungu nitapata ile NHF ya kuwa nitafanyiwa matibabu mimi sasa. Ndio eh, tatatia hivyo. Sijui baadaye lakini mimi natarajia hivyo kwa uwezo wake mwenyewe Mwenyezi Mungu. Suleiman Yeri, KTN News.